for a suspicious vehicle. A gentleman's parked in a black pickup. Um, he's from Oklahoma City, but he won't give me his name and tells me he doesn't have to give me a driver's license because he's not done anything wrong. He's driving a vehicle? Well, he's parked right now. Oh, okay. Well, but technically, there's no obligation for him to identify himself. I mean, <clears throat> unless you've got reasonable suspicion that he's committing a crime. Well, the thing is, is I have no reasonable suspicion to believe that he's not committing crime because he has a ladder in the back of the truck and he's in front of houses that aren't occupied right now. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, um, there's no compelled ID statute in Oklahoma. I have to think about. I mean, do you have anything else to suggest that he might be involved in something illicit? Well, just, I'm just, I, I'm curious why a man from Oklahoma City is parked on a dead end road in Blanchard, and uh, uh, you know he has no. I ask if he lives here. Can you get your roll down your window for me? I see you have a camera on. Are you construction worker, contractor? No, neither one. Neither one? No. Okay. I don't know what Okay. There's a folder in his front seat that has one of these addresses on it. It says 3 a.m., 322, 19 with a camera. That seems pretty suspicious to me. Yeah, I'm going to let Officer Haynes know. Officer Haynes, there's a manila folder in his front seat on a clipboard that has today's date with code 4. Today's date with 3 a.m. and a camera. And it has one of these addresses on it. Plain view in the front seat. He's got a manila envelope in his front seat in plain view. With a camera on it, the envelope has 3 a.m. and today's date. And one of these addresses in Summer and Valley. And address on the street. Kids want to smoke? Summer Valley. Did you hear that, Travis? Yeah, I didn't quite understand it. He's got a manila envelope okay. in plain view on the top of your seat. He's got a date and a time and an, an address on it. In this on neighborhood. An address on this street on it. And it says 3 a.m. It says 3 a.m. And a camera. And a camera sitting next to it. Oh, he's probably a private investigator. Probably, but I don't know why he wouldn't want to tell me that. I asked him if he was a con- uh, Those guys are douchebags. Yeah. I mean, that's been my experience, and they're probably some of the more litigious people that you want to come around. I've been involved in a lawsuit. Uh, <clears throat> Let me see if I can get that yeah, address. Yeah, I think you're under the line. This address right here. It's for this address right here. Today's date, 3 a.m., 251, Summer Valley Road. You see he's got like five, eight minutes at the time that he said it. He had eight minutes before he was meeting with somebody at this location. Well, it's almost three. And it says the A over the P on there, so it could have been a misprint on that. So if somebody shows up here. Um, whoever Officer Haynes is talking to is believing that this guy may be a private investigator. So, well, I mean, to me about the amendments, so I'm guessing we're talking sovereign. sovereign. Yeah. I've got over here. Now we don't want to identify ourselves. We, we, we have his name based on the tag, but we don't know that that's actually his name. I could just be the person we're And he doesn't. A suspicious person. I'm about to get ready to do that. I'm not What's the fact? You're under arrest. Ten four. I'm under arrest, guys. Let everybody know. No, she just said her arresting, and uh, he's been videoing this whole time. I don't answer questions. Go ahead and just drop the lock in. Can I return my vehicle? I don't know. Not, but not cooperating. 
Back here with this officer. Hang on Where? just a second. Just hang on right here for me, please. Hang on, Chief. Code 4. Are you a private investigator? Nope. You said you're meeting somebody here in a few minutes? Yep. And I don't have to answer questions. I'm not here to listen to you. I'm here to tell you what's going on. Okay? I don't care if you record me. This whole interaction I don't really care. Okay? You're obstructing an officer from doing his duty. So now you're under arrest. Unless you want to cooperate. Okay? That's the way it goes. Have a nice day. Would you like to explain the address and the time on the folder inside your vehicle with the camera? I don't want to answer questions. Okay. Uh, are you going to identify yourself? I don't want to answer questions. Look, man, they didn't ask a question. Hey. Can you, can you at least take your hands out of your pockets for me? Thank you. Look, all we're trying to do, man, if you're a PI, no big deal. We'll yeah. Get out of here. We just got to, we got to confirm who you are. Make sure, especially the camera part, make sure you're not doing people Tom stuff. Okay. Not a PI. So the only thing you can have a camera for is if you have, no. if you're a PI. No, that's not what I'm saying. So uh, insurance no. adjusters so, aren't allowed to have a camera insurance insurance to take photographs of damage and stuff. Are you an insurance adjuster? I possibly might be. Okay. Do you have any proof of that? Okay, but I mean, why do I have to answer questions? I'm here for a legal reason. We've we've got a call. I'm, can I at least can I get your date of birth? Questions. Can I get your date of birth? You're failing to I identify have yourself. To, by law. You I are have failing. The Fifth right. You are failing to Not identify to yourself. Some questions. You have what to law identify have I yourself. What law have I broken? What law have I broken? Obstruction. I don't know. I'll go check and I can check. Five oh six Blanchard. I'll be at two fifty one Summer Valley to see if there's anybody at home. Here, Can you do an address check? Um, see the name of owners or tenants here. Go for two, please. Make sure we get the uh, rent statements from the RPs on this. Was clear. Two, did you copy? Five or six Blanchard. Can we see if we can get a hold of a homeowner for this location? Hi there, I'm advising that my RP resides at six twelve Summer Hill Road. Affirmative. Can you look and see if we have any calls for this address, maybe get a possible name of the owners, and see if we can make contact, see if they're expecting anybody? Address for us, 251. I'm Mm -hmm. 
Not sure that two's getting out. I'll let him know. Obstruction. But I haven't done anything. That's a crime. That's a crime. Just, obstruction is a crime. You want the crime? There it is. Obstruction. Okay. You're not helping us. Okay, but that's a secondary crime. In, in it's order for it's still happen. a crime. Okay, so what? In, what? Okay, we have to be able to on. investigate okay. the possibility of a crime. Okay. Okay. And by you not cooperating with that, there's your secondary crime. Mm -hmm. okay, but what's the first crime that you're out here to investigate? We're not sure. We there have to figure go. that out. It could being be a suspicious. Tom. Being suspicious. It could be a peeping Tom. How do I know you're not in here with... I mean, you do have a camera on the front seat yeah, of your truck. Absolutely, that's part of my, one of my tools that I use in my but Okay, we, we don't know that so unless we investigate. But I don't have to answer any okay, of your questions. Okay, so what do you use the camera for, sir? To take photos. Of? Damages. Damages to what? Uh, He's an insurance adjuster. Okay. I, I, I'm not going to answer any more I figured questions. That part I'm, okay. I'm going to go ahead and, if you guys are going to go ahead and take me to jail, let's go ahead and get that done and I'll call my attorney. Look, I'm just trying to talk to you. So. I'm trying to avoid... Everybody going to jail. I'm trying to avoid all this stuff, okay? Well, I'm uh, sitting here detained. Do you have a business detained? card with your... Absolutely not. You don't have a business card or anything like that? Nope. Okay. Is there any way I can identify you? Do you have a driver's license on your person now? It, in my vehicle, I do. But I don't consent to any search. Okay. Do you mind if I reach in and grab that driver's I license? Do mind. Nothing else. You I can do watch mind. me grab that. I do mind. So I have no way to identify you, so I have no way to tell if you're an escaped inmate, no way to tell if you're a big murder, no way to tell if you've got a thousand warrants out here. Real simple way, okay, you guys have a database here. Yes, but I need your date of birth. You told me you wouldn't give me that earlier. Okay, you guys have, can you let me finish my statement? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, you guys have a database here, okay, mm -hmm. Oklahoma Department of Insurance. All you have to do is go to that website, punch in my first and last name, and it tells you everything about me. Here's part what? of the problem. You haven't given us your first We don't know what your first and last name yep. is. You ran my plate. That doesn't I, mean I it's you. That doesn't was mean it's you. you. And you, you didn't deny it was you, but you also didn't confirm it was you. Right, but I'm sitting here in, a tr in my truck. So if I drive my wife's car that's under her name, does my name pop up on it? I have no idea. It depends on how you registered it. Right? Okay, exactly. so how do we know? So You're answering my questions for me. Okay, but I have a Fourth Amendment right to be secure in my person's house's papers and effects. I also have a Fifth Amendment right not but, to answer Well, how do we know that this... You know, you know the deal here, man, is... Uh, I don't know your driver's license, so if you leave mm, here... I'm going to search by seeing my car. Sure. Let me check back, see my car for a bit.
because I'm not saying if you get hurt or something, man, I'm gonna want to talk to you. Especially if you're an insurance adjuster and you're sitting out here and you've been out here for a full minute for a couple people seen you and called you or called on you. Yeah. Yeah, the homeowner came over to make sure I was who I was. I talked yeah. to the homeowner and he said he didn't know who you were. That guy right there in the red shirt. Oh uh, no, it's a guy who used to live there. Was, oh the guy lives back here, my bad. That's my bad, that's mine. So he was just out here on his phone. I was okay. thinking that guy right back here. Officer Haynes. I'm gonna go. Hi, Hello. I'm Officer Nye. Hello, Justin Owens. Did you talk to this gentleman earlier? I did. did you, what did he, information did he tell you? Well, he told us that um, he was an insurance adjuster. Now, but I was expecting somebody over there about the time he showed up. Okay. Uh, Hi. Their name was uh, Clint King. Okay. That lives there, there at Six Flags. Okay. And uh, had a mortgage guy, somebody come over and look at something earlier. Okay. And then they told I was waiting to let somebody in. Okay, so you have permission to be in the household, in the okay. house. You do. And you're supposed to let an insurance adjuster in? Yes. Okay, what kind of insurance, what what happened? What kind of damages or what are we looking no, at? I don't know about that. I okay. think it's like roof damage and garage okay. door damage. But okay. I had, it was just kind of Do you know what company he's casual. with? I don't. No, I okay. let you talk to the owners. Do you have their contact that, information? Yeah, that would be amazing. And I just talked to him a minute ago. Okay. And uh, and told him that we're uh, he's I didn't, refusing to give us information to tell and, us who he is. And I thought that might be ha something like that happening. Yeah. Uh, so I didn't. Well, what I happened didn't is want to put my nose in it. No, I, you when never he, know what's really going on. He finally told us he talked to you, and I'm like, okay, let me go talk to him and see if we can get this clarified. Well, that's and, another thing I figured. I said if he wasn't being. Bad of or just not bad of, but if he wasn't being hard to deal with, he would have told him that earlier. Yeah. So it could have been yeah. something totally. No, we got a call on a suspicious vehicle. Bless you. Okay, and the Clint King is the owner, and his number is five nine six three three four two. Three three four two. All right. And his wife is Eva, and uh, she might be one of them will answer. They're coming back from. Uh, okay, class. and they were expecting somebody. They were expecting okay. somebody. Okay. All right, I will call. Uh, for me to say that I know that that's him and everything, obviously. Okay. Well, he's finally, finally told us that he is possibly an insurance adjuster. And so, um, that does help. And now you've talked to him and he's, he told you he was an insurance adjuster. Did he happen to give you a name, a business card, anything like that? If he did, I didn't pay attention. Okay. I know he didn't hand me anything, so. No problem. I'm, I'm not trying to ignore you. I'm trying to turn off my caller ID on oh, my phone. No, you're fine. And that way I can call them. And, like I said, I would have tried to. No. I'm a, I'm a firefighter, so I yep. work around you guys quite a bit. Yeah. No, no worries. You never know really what's going Captain on. Captain America's so. cool. I'm willing to have a plan. Go ahead. Okay. Let me make this phone call. Uh, if I need anything, I'll be, get back to you. Grant's first name, Kenneth, returns to a valid class B. Got a Mustang. Expires 4 of 19, negative 44s. Right. Uh, also advising, I did make contact with a homeowner. She advised that they say. are expecting a company to come out. She advised that they are expecting a Kenneth and Grant to come out and do roofing work. Hey, it's a homeowner's last name, King. Okay, that's what I was talking. Okay, I was trying to call him as well. All right, thank you. Bye. Tell them who's insurance agent. This person's actually supposed to let whoever it is inside the home because he's doing, they believe, roof and garage door damage. He gave me the number and phone number to the owners, which is who I was trying to call, but uh, Maria got a hold of them instead. So. Um, he said he was kind of right. different with him as well, and he was uh, kind of afraid he was going to do this with us. So, he's one of our firefighters. Um, I can't remember. He told me, and I can't remember. I'm sorry. Um, 
Chief wants him cited for obstruction. I okay. Cannot force that. Not going to say that's not an order, but okay. it's recommended he still be cited for obstruction. Okay. Okay. Can you get out around me? Yeah. I can move up. Okay. But I came here in 2010. It was supposed to be just for employment, and I haven't been able to leave since. So. So where are you originally from? Um, I grew up in New Mexico. Uh, oh, so you're not too far. Yeah, most of most of my when my wife and I got married, uh, we went, moved from Phoenix to uh, the Houston area. I lived in Mesa and Gilbert forever. I have family in uh, Phoenix, and then Tucson, and then I've seen Flagstaff. Flagstaff. We always go up to Flagstaff for the sledding. It's a, it's a whole so. different deal when you get to Flagstaff. You don't even yep. think you're in Arizona anymore. I know. So. From New Mexico, Albuquerque? That's where uh, uh, Alex is. Uh, Farmington's up in the Four Corners. Uh, four Corners region. Uh, you got Farmington, Durango. Six Blanchard, what do you send all of his 43 information to Fives Geo, please? Okay. So basically, supply. Uh, that's I was in charge of supply. I was in there for eight years. Okay. So I have a like a third cousin. He did supply, but he was in. There. I think it was an Air Force, but they did drops. They dropped cargo out of planes. Uh, I actually was in the supply house. Okay. So, and, I just uh, got those orders today. That's where I'm going. During Desert Storm and Desert Shield, I handed out all the mop gear and TA-50 that the soldiers going over to Iraq. So, okay. Well, uh, she's she's National Guard right now. So you know what 63 Juliet is. I'm Air Force. Oh, you're oh, Air Force. Oh, okay. My bad. You Different. guys are IT. Mm -hmm. I think your schooling is called IT, isn't it? Individual Tech training? school. Technical, yeah, tech school, yeah. AIT. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've heard AIT. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, so. different. Um, one says, like, huh? We have to cite. For what? For obstruction. Yeah, for one. Yeah, okay. Just relaying what two told me that one. And so, well, yeah. I'm not doing that. I didn't speak. Are you happy? With what? I'm happy. Okay, I got what's good? What I, needed. I, I spoke. I spoke to one of our local firefighters here. He confirmed his, that he was supposed to let somebody in. The homeowners are on their way home. We talked to the homeowners. Was he? Did he know that you got over here? No, I have to wait on the, my ladder. Is just I, I broke my back uh, last year, January 14th. Last year I broke my back. Okay. Thanks. Did you do adjusting in Chickasha? Yeah. I okay. I used to work for Chickasha. Yep. Okay. I you've come in and got reports for me. Okay. Yep. I. I knew I recognized your face from yep. somewhere. Okay, well, you told me the back. I was like, because I think it was even at the fire department. Yep. I've talked to you. Yep, because yep. I had to go in for fire marshal's report. Yes. Yes. This next time just tell us who you are. Come on. I wasn't trying to be difficult. I was just trying to You were good at it. <laughs> well, right. here's the deal, man. So. If, if you have a guy who doesn't is not patient and everything, and I know you, you don't care if you go to judge everything, but sometimes a lot of hurting from both sides. And I understand that. Anyways, we're just trying to make sure that one, we're trying, you're an insurance adjuster, fine, you got a reason to be here. I'm yeah. worried about you. But if you don't tell me, I'm not a, if you would say, hey, I'm an insurance adjuster, that's cool, you got a business card. And usually if you have a business card, I'm cool with that, and I just yep. announce after that. Actually, just noted. I'm out of business cards because when I was deployed to North Carolina for uh, Hurricane Florence and Hurricane Matthew, I went through 3,000 business cards. Okay, that makes and sense. And uh, I just haven't had time to replenish okay. them. I've only been back for maybe three weeks. Uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, usually, like, if you said, yeah, I'm an insurance adjuster, right? you got a business card. No, you got a phone number that way. Sometimes I only show share ID. Actually, uh, here, here's what I actually carry on. And, and I don't mind showing you guys my ID now that everything's all over. But, I mean, there's that. And then I've got my Texas license. This is the one I'm required to carry because it's my... Hey, you don't have to take it out, though. You don't have to. Oh. You can't read it if you don't. Oh, is that your... My Texas insurance Department of Insurance Adjuster. Louisiana. Oh, this you don't is... Don't show me any of those. This is my Florida. Okay. Okay, I'm not I'm trying wise. to be negative Nelly here, but this one's expired. I know. I just... Okay. I, they're updated. Okay. But this Seriously. one never expires. That's the cool one. That's the only state that they actually give you a one gives you a hard one. Issue... Oklahoma doesn't even give you a hard copy. They give you a paper one like this, yeah. and it, uh, we have to renew, uh, get licensed.
licensed every two years. So do you have residents in Texas and Mustang and in Katy, Texas and Mustang and stuff? No, just in, uh, it's actually Oklahoma City now. Okay. But my registration's up to date because I have to get a new one okay. next month. Oh, yeah, I would do the Speaking same thing. Speaking of which, how the hell does that work? What, what do you mean? mean? I've never had to renew a driver's license. Oh, you just go to the tag the office. Tag agency. Tell them I need tag agency. License. Yeah, and you can change your address at the same time. It's like, uh, it says on the back actually how much it is. I think it's, it's like thirty three fifty now. It's like 30 bucks, something like that. Yeah, thirty four fifty. Yeah. Oh, wow. Because I didn't know if I had to go to take a test again. Because if you let it lapse for like 30 days, you do. So get it renewed before it lapse. No, I'm yeah. going to do that like next week. Uh, yeah. yeah. Tag agency. You'd have to be yeah. Tag agency. Arizona. Arizona. When you get your driver's license, it's 99 in, years, isn't it? No, it's till you're 65. Okay, yeah. And then, I knew it was something ridiculous, like it's a lot longer. Yeah, do that. until you're 65. My wife, she doesn't drive very often, but she still has her Arizona driver's license. Mm -hmm. and, uh, she's handicapped, and uh, uh, so she just has never bothered to get an Oklahoma one. And But hers is good until she's 65, which is nine years away. So... Well, I'll never like, know. Nine years may be a whole different story. She may want well, one. She, she may not want one. It. Well, she may not want one in nine years. So just have her get a photo ID at that point. That way she, she has. Was, she was, uh, uh, she, she had an internal bleed. And I walked into the bedroom and I found her laying on the floor. I was like, oh, great. She's drunk again. I went down to touch her and her body was ice cold. Mm. I started CPR, called the Mustang P uh, Police Department and fire. Uh, paramedics finally got there. They took over CPR. They got her heart going again. They still, they had to bag her all the way to the hospital. Uh, she was in, in a coma for 29 days. But she's one of the lucky ones. Brought, they brought her back. I mean, nine times But now she's work. got real bad ICU psychosis to where she, her brain isn't all there anymore. I'm she's saying. severe, severe brain damage. Well, so, man, man, it scares me sometimes. Yeah. Well, we'll get out okay. of here, so, man. Yeah. Well, Next. Like I said, all I was trying to do is make sure you want to rob in places. And, you know, and my ladder still hasn't showed up. How, how comfortable do you feel about climbing on a roof? Because I won't. I'm not. I ain't climbing I on a roof. That's why I got me big for a reason. Keep yeah. Keep out on the ground. Especially. Yeah. That's a now the home. Too. I believe the homeowners are on their way home. Yeah, they are. Okay. They're coming uh, from Texas. Yeah. Uh, the ladder assist was supposed to be here at three o'clock, and that's their contractor. The well, it's three twenty. Yeah, the roof is too steep for me to yeah, go up. Yeah, it's a steep pitch. I, yeah, why okay. do they do roofs like that? I know. Pretty. I don't understand. It's pretty. It. Why? Also, they don't. I mean, I don't know. Yes. Yeah. Mine's, mine's now, what insurance agent, adjuster agency do you work with again? Uh, actually, I'm uh, for this company. I'm working for for QBE. Okay. That's what that is, QBE insurance. Okay. And uh, there's the last name, King okay. Clinton King. Okay. That's fine. But I also do USAA, State Farm. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah. So I. But you see that sitting on the front seat looks kind of weird. Right. Okay. All right. See where we're going. I figured it would have, you would have calmed down a little bit when you saw the actual address well, I was sitting in front of. That, that, that was, that's kind of creepy. My, my first date, uh, first one was supposed to be on the 21st. Uh-huh. That uh, says 3 a.m. The 18th. Though. Right. See? I, see I where that's. To, right. But I was supposed to be here at 11 a.m. Yeah. Because it's marked out. And I just, uh, when I changed it yesterday. I changed it to 3, but I just forgot to... See, but what I'm saying is 3 a.m. Yeah. like, huh? So, all right. We're going to let you... your private eye. Like, yeah. 3 a.m. taking pictures? That makes sense. I wish. Yep. A lot of so. times private eyes, I want to they think, oh, I'm like, look, I'll call Cleet and get your license revoked. Yeah. Like, I don't care. I just want to make sure you're not breaking in the house. Yeah. And, you know, you can always call the station and let us know, hey, I'm an adjuster. I'm going to be out here in this area. I need to look at this place. And we'll know you're here. So if anybody calls yeah, in, we'll say, hey, you're good. Because people in this town call for everything. Yeah. Okay. Just call the PD. Let us I know. I actually went guys, by your guys' PD before I actually came out here because I was trying to kill time. Okay. You guys have a itty bitty station. Oh. Yeah. And then I went by City Hall just to check it out. Okay. They got those old plaques there on the mm -hmm. building. That was pretty damn cool. We used to have a railroad through town. We don't have it anymore. I was looking on the side of the subway. There's a picture of a train. Yeah. But it, it obviously hasn't gone through town in years. But the only thing you can tell that we used to have a railroad is if you go down by the football stadium, um, there's two big old water tanks that are still in the little field there. That's the only thing that's really left of the railroad. And I saw the that photo, the plaque of the actual gin. Mm -hmm. Is that actually still in business? Uh, no, we don't have anything like the oldest part we have is probably the, the old down the main street. Really? Those buildings have been there since maybe, maybe some baby back to like the 20s or 30s. A lot of them were built with masons yeah. because you can tell they got really tall ceilings, but they had the corners they had mason symbols in the bricks. 
Well, the yeah. City Hall is showing that one photo where they're actually in construction of City Hall. Mm -hmm. and that was shown in 1907. So if you go right across the street from the PD, there's a brick building there. Right. It's a, it's a, but that's the, oh, that's the original City Hall. That used to oh, be the, that's the City Hall. That's, that's the, the original. Old, the original. Oh, I so thought that, the, that, that used to be the City Hall, Police Department, Fire Department, all one. It's still got the, a basement. The one you were at, at the, on the corner yeah, of Main and 62, that's new City Hall. That's oh, the okay. operational City Hall right now. I thought that was the original. But a lot but of those the, pictures are from, from Main Street. Those yes. Hall, especially on the subway side, those buildings are all. Yeah, I know inside Rockies they've got history books and stuff from yeah, everything. Yeah, they're 20s and 30s. It'd be real cool yeah. if you guys had any like memorabilia or stuff like that because I, I like going to fire stations. I well, used to be a firefighter. Well, you know we have Medal of Honor winner or the recipient from Blanchard? No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, but I've only been here nine years. Tony K. Burris. Yeah. I know um, Tony Burris. That's why if you go by the Pioneer Building, I actually there's a statue. Of the name. There's yeah. like a statue it's of a, like, a soldier who right. rifle up and I think it was in the... Uh, I've read the story before, but yeah, he's a Medal Honor recipient. That's cool. Okay. So, that is cool. It's right there on the corner. That's why if you drive back out of town and go up Main Street, you'll see him. Yeah. Yeah. The square right there. Yeah. The fly poles and right there. Yeah. Okay. yeah, that was pretty cool. I did go and take a look at all that today yeah. while I was waiting until 3 o'clock. Yeah, if you're going to be sitting right. down for a couple hours, just, just call. Around. This is what I'm in. I'm driving over here. That way, when people call, I just press A, they're in Central Chester, they're good, and it works. Yep. And I would, just to let you know, this is actually the first time this has ever happened. So, well, and I've been doing this, uh, been an adjuster for 12 years. Now anybody's called on here. you? Yeah. Oh. Anybody. Dude. So. Everybody in this town calls on everybody. Yep. <laughs> I see All that. Right. I got a better day. I, I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Ma'am, thank you. Thank you.